Ski Tips with Josh Foster, sponsored by Big White Ski Resort, Canada's favorite family resort in Kelowna, B.C. So I was skiing with some good friends, Colin and Mary Ayers from the Toronto Ski Club a little while back, and we figured out a few things, you know. One of the things that sometimes happen to them, and it's not uncommon for a lot of people, is they control all of their speed from a quick turn at the top of the arc, and then they end up with a bit of a traverse across the slope. Well, if you do that, what you do is you give up any rhythm you had, and you end up doing a whole bunch of first turns down the slope, and that's not so fun. So come on with me here today, and we'll show you a little something to manage your speed through a bit of a different turn shape. Here we go. So have a look at the shape here, guys. If I twist my skis really quickly, I end up controlling my speed, sure, but it's kind of Z-shaped, and there's not a whole lot of rhythm. There's no flow, really, from one turn to the next turn. I'm doing pretty much first turns the whole way down. You know, it's all well and good to talk about a C shape or a Z shape, but maybe it's a little bit more important as to how you create that C shape. Well, it's a continuous steering effort. You know, if you're driving your car, you're not gonna crank the steering wheel and just hold it when you go around a corner. You're probably going to continue to steer all the way through the turn. And that's what you do with your legs in a ski turn. Have a look at my leg here. Technical mumbo jumbo, we call this turning effort like that, we call that pivoting. Well, you don't actually continue to pivot all the way through the turn, but the steering effort is certainly there. Come on with me and I'll show you what I mean. Here we go. So have a look at the difference in the shape here, guys. You can see it's a little bit more C-shaped, not quite as Z-shaped as the last ones. So look at it here again, guys, with the help of the graphic. A little bit more C-shaped rather than Z-shaped. That's how you're gonna get a little bit more speed management. So have a look here, guys. If I have that quick pivot, or that quick little twist at the start, you know, that's really no good for rhythm. And what it does is it makes me make a first turn the whole way down. But if I make these C-shapes, what I do is I change the tempo of that pivot. As I get to the bottom of the turn, I feel a little bit of pressure build, and I don't want to give that up. I want to continue to twist like that, twist like that, twist like that. That creates that C shape, and I'll get speed management through turning and steering rather than just throwing my ski sideways. So here's where that C shape really pays off, guys, on this steeper stuff. So when I feel that pressure building towards the end of the turn, I feel that right in the hip socket. And you know what I want to do? I want to continue to twist or that idea of continuing to steer. So it's not a real quick steer to end up with that Z shape. It's a continuous steering effort, much like you're driving your car. That leaves you with C shapes and it's better for speed management. That will work for Colin and Mary and I hope it works for you too. From beautiful Big White Ski Resort, I'm Josh. We'll see you next time.